Hello everybody, my name is Gord Tessman, I'm Ty Tessman's mechanic. Today I'm going to do a little video on uh, how to use a temp gun properly. Some of the things that uh, I see a lot of people using the temp guns that are really dirty inside the lens and with all the dust and dirt in there, it'll actually read a lot, your engine, that it's a lot cooler than it actually is. If you can take a Q-tip or the end of a uh, paper towel and clean that lens, it'll make the temp gun read much more accurately. We also get a lot of emails about the engine head, the new 2102 engine head, lower profile head. People are saying the engine runs a lot hotter, but in actuality, what they're probably doing is holding the temp gun too close to the engine head when they take the temperature. If you note that when you put it in this engine head, you're not near as close to the top of the head or the button of the engine. So when you take your temperature of an engine head, make sure that you're about the same distance that you used to be with the old engine head. That way you're gonna get an accurate reading of the engine. Either that or as you do more testing, maybe take it from the block side, that way you're getting a more consistent reading. It doesn't really matter how you take your engine temperature as long as you do it consistent from one engine to the other. Um, also another big difference, and a lot of people don't realize this, is when you take your engine temperature, the greater the distance, it changes a lot. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, also, if you have a laser, don't point the laser at the top of the engine. Make sure that the sensor itself is over the top of the engine and that it's straight. Even changing the angle of the engine or the temp gun can change the temperature read a lot. So just remember, hold your engine temp gun the same distance from the glow plug as you would have when you ran the tall head and you'll get a lot more accurate reading and it'll show you a true engine temperature. Okay, I had this engine head in the oven just to demonstrate the temperature difference. Now, if you go right close to the engine head, you can see the temperature is 244. If I take the same temperature reading about an inch and a half away, it's 174. This is why it's absolutely crucial. Just by moving it closer, Again, 212, moving it far away, 203. You're going to get a lot different temperature by the distance you hold the temp gun. So it doesn't matter how far you hold it, as long as you do it consistently from every engine you run, the distance from the head or the top of the button head to the temp gun tip, that's where you want to be. Be consistent and you'll get a consistent temperature of the engine. Thanks for watching.